Ag AM in Kansas brought to you in part by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Welcome back to Farm Factor. Let's join Dwayne and Derek as they discuss the corn crop. Dwayne Tames with you again on Ag AM in Kansas. A while at the Wichita Farm and Ranch Show Market Shootout 9 with KFRM and the Wichita Farm and Ranch Show. Derek Herman has uh, joined us. Uh, opportunity to talk a little more in depth about corn uh, specifically, Derek. And obviously we look at uh, fall harvest as it went very quickly for a lot of people. There's a lot of bushels out there it appears as well. There is, and uh, it does appear that bushels are growing, especially we got some more news after today's uh, USDA report that was quite bearish for corn uh, here in the short term and, and maybe affect the long term. But the corn market at this uh, point in the year, you know, we've been, we've been trading basically nowhere for the last three to four months, uh, it seems like, since we got off of our high spot there back in July and, uh, and fell off as the, the problems of the Illinois and Indiana area appeared to be patched up somewhat by how the, uh, the other areas of the Corn Belt have reacted getting good weather and uh, on the fringes of the West and in Iowa and, uh, and having really good yields. The key thing I think right now for corn producers as you, as you look out here you know, and, and wonder what, you know, what to do, there are a lot of areas where even though the corn price, futures price, is not moving in your favor, you have seen regional cash prices, basis, improve in some areas very dramatically. There are positive basis, basis values in those trouble areas in Illinois and Indiana, but they have filtered out some, uh, especially to the eastern part of the state of Kansas, uh, maybe not quite made it out to the west and central parts where we've had good harvest, uh, good harvest areas compared to historical. But there has been a good base improvement. There is base improvement, I believe, to definitely be taking advantage of uh, right now at this at this juncture. And that is a key for, for producers to be looking at right now, in my mind. As far as uh, we look at uh, the corn market, you kind of referenced, we've been sitting in a pretty sideways trend, not really going anywhere, anywhere fast. Uh, probably don't see that changing anytime soon either, other than with this negative pressure from the recent crop report. The negative pressure uh, very well might push us a little bit further south outside of our trading range that we have been in for a while. Uh, like I said, basis is your one you know one thing to hang your hat on, and definitely definitely look at some opportunities as far as forecasting you know something better. Uh, weather down the road uh, very well may do it, and South America weather is always key, especially when it comes to soybean, but could affect uh, corn price as well. But, uh, but for now, no, it, there is not uh, anything really on the short-term horizon that looks you know, really great to be, to be bringing anything spectacular or a whole lot of noise with it, uh, you know, other than we'll, we'll see how ethanol reacts in all of this where we've had some stability, had some lower prices, whether we probably maybe not see ethanol expansion, but there has been talk of exporting more ethanol to, uh, to the likes of like China and so forth. Not that that's something you should be getting too uber fired up about, but it, it could be something that grows a few more legs as we get down the road and still if we experience you know, cheaper corn prices in general. Our thanks to Derek Hermish for joining us uh, from Wichita at the Farm and Ranch Show here on Ag AM in Kansas. Jamie, back to you. Thanks, Dwayne. It's time for a quick break, but don't go far away. Next up is this week's Kansas Soybean Update. Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture, represents grassroots agriculture. The state's largest and most powerful farm organization stands up for its members through leadership development, agriculture education, legal defense, environmental advocacy, farm safety, and risk management. Members also enjoy money-saving benefits. To join our organization today or to learn more, go to www.kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter.